Well, I think clearly HIV prevention remains one of the most important things that we have to deal with. Uh, we still have had somewhere near 1.9 million new infections globally every year. We have a target to reduce that to less than 500,000 a year by 2020, but we're, the world is nowhere near on track to do that. So we've seen some major advances with treatment access. We've seen deaths coming down globally. We've seen some reduction in new infections, but not enough. But I think the, the prevention field is at a very exciting time. We've had results of a number of studies that we're now seeing going into application. But beyond that, there's a number of new approaches that are being developed and I think will enable us to have much uh, better effect going forward. Uh, prevention trials take some time, and so what we have had is a number of years where we have there been some big trials in the field, some of them being very successful. Uh, the, the use of pre-exposure prophylaxis of um, Trivada or uh, Tenofovir and FTC for pre-exposure prophylaxis, I think, is, is the game changer in prevention at the moment. What we're seeing is that it can be taken successfully. We're seeing in uh, both in, in trials and now in access programs that people can adhere to it and that when they do, the risk of infection is almost eliminated. A number of reports from uh, Northern California, a number of reports from elsewhere in the world showing very, very few people becoming infected if they use PrEP. And so that, I think, is, is one of the major things that we have to move on. Uh, cost remains an issue in the developing world. In the developed world. In the developing world where generic drugs are available, the cost is not so much the issue as how you actually implement this within health services that are really strained and how you reach the people who are most at risk.